perfect. As you know, we're in a brand new month, and the theme for this month is Choose to Live. So it's a year of joyous living. And this month, instead of following the pattern the whole rest of the year has, is Choose to Live, Choosing to Live. And today's topic is Enjoy Yourself. Enjoy Yourself. Well, I don't know if you know this, but Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians wrote a song called Enjoy Yourself. It's Than You Think. It's Later Than You Think. Thank you, Patty. Someone knows it. It's a song I grew up with. Of course, it was born when I, I, it was, it was, I was just barely a baby when it was first out. But it was one of those songs that was often sung. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. And enjoy yourself while you're in the pink. The whole idea of this song is that life goes by quickly, and if we don't slow down and make choices, we will end up not having the life that we decided to have, that we want to have. And honestly, that's um, in our journal, it's the same thing for the whole week. It's all about what choices are you making to enjoy your life? Are you choosing life? Are you choosing to live? Or are you just, uh, Mary Morrissey says, many people are living the same year over and over again. So they live, they might live till 94, but it's 94 years that are all the same. And our, our job is to seize the day and to enjoy this life in a new way. Every day, make every single day new. And that's so easy to do. It's so easy to do. Take a different route to your church or to your, or to your work. Do something different when you first wake up. Instead of doing your spiritual practice in the way you've been doing it, maybe ch- turn it upside down. Do it a different way. Make decisions to do life differently to allow That magnificence, that spirit, God, life itself is is through you. You get to choose. You get to choose what kind of life you're going to live. You get to choose whether you're going to be healthy, whether you're going to be happy, whether you're going to be unhealthy and unhappy. It really is up to you. I had a great week. I'm I'm preparing for the Oscars tonight, so (laughs) I saw Saturday... Friday and Saturday, I saw three of the movies. I'm getting, getting, well, they're on TV now. So you can, so I saw Nebraska, I saw Blue Jasmine, and I saw um, 12 Years as a Slave, 12 Years a Slave. All powerful movies. I have no clue what is going to win, but we'll all find out today. But each of the movies, each one, is really a depiction of life. And how consciously are we living life? How many of you saw Blue Jasmine? It's kind of a fringe type of movie. And this woman was so not part of her life. She was not living her life consciously. She was blaming her life and was living out of blame. And it's such a, it's good that way to see there's someone who had a lot of money actually caused the downfall of the no money and yet blamed her husband for the whole thing and his uh, lover. Blamed the lover and the husband. And all you see is this woman who's way too dependent on vodka and these flashbacks to her life. And yet you see she's not really living in the present moment. And my question is, are you? Are you living fully in the present moment? Are you bringing joy to this magnificent life? You were given a gift, and that gift is life, and what you do with it is your gift back to the universe, back to God. What you do with your life is your gift back to God. So because it's all God, no matter what it is that you're doing, you're expressing God, whether you're conscious of it or not, whether you're bringing the beauty and the wholeness and the the love and the power, or whether you are using that mighty moving power 
to create what you don't want by focusing on what is not in your highest and best good. I had a really great experience of knowing that I'm always guided, guarded, and protected, which is something I started saying about 35 years ago. One of those little affirmations that just is deep in my subjective. And um, Monday morning, before I came to work, I stopped to fill up my car with gas. And I didn't have any pockets, so I put my credit card on the top of my window, my back window. And then I got in my car and drove off. Oh, before that happened, I had this woman drove by and said, what a beautiful skirt. So I was distracted. <laughs> but I had no pockets, had, drove off, forgot what I'd done with it. And I drove all the way until, and I'm looking in, I looked in my purse three or four times. I looked in my briefcase. I looked in my car, because often my habit is to put my credit card in the cup holder until I have time to put it away. It was nowhere to be found, of course. And I was all ready to phone the bank and say, you better cancel that card, when I looked up and saw this little something under my back windshield. And then I remembered, oh, now, folks, I'd been everywhere. I had been here, and I live in Laguna Niguel, so I'd been here at Laguna Niguel. I'd stopped in Whole Foods. There were huge numbers of people there, guided, guarded, and protected. That car credit card did not need to be canceled, it, and no one else had used it. No one else had even noticed it. God is good. 24-7, 365, yay. That is so true. God is good. Our lives are good. And when we forget that, when we start looking the other direction, then that's what starts showing up in our lives. It's so important to know who you are. And as Kathy, Kathy says, and whose you are. So what you are and whose you are. You're God's expression of itself. God created you in its image and likeness so that you could make a difference in your world right where you are, doing what you're doing. Not someday when, not in a greater later, not if you win the lottery right now. Although when you win the lottery and tithe to their center, that'll be very good also. <laughs> but, this, but right now, right now, you have everything needed. All of the gifts of spirit are right where you are. And they're available for you to use intelligently by claiming them. But not claiming them like, please God, give me, but rather... Thank you, God, for all that I am, all that I have. Thank you for the great treasures of my friends, of my health, of my creativity. Think of an even greater idea today than you had yesterday or last week. An idea that is big enough for the, big enough for the presence of God that you are. That big. Um, I've been reading, again, this thing called Life, one of Ernest Holmes' smaller books. And it's so delightful because it just focuses on what is the truth? What is the truth of your life? What is the truth of your life? And so the truth is simply that you have this creativity within you that you can use and are using. You can use it consciously and direct it to do good for you. In the film Nebraska, you know, I'm from the prairies in Canada, and, and it's shot in black and white. And when they, they, had, they showed all of the men watching television, watching television together, that, I swear, could have been one of my family gatherings in the 50s. <laughs> it was exactly all the men are watching TV. They brought extra chairs in. They're not speaking to each other. They're not connecting with each other. They're focused on this thing. The women are somewhere else, gossiping about the people in the village, etc. And they all looked alike. How they got all those actors to look alike. They were, it was, like I said, just, it could have been my family. And... And the desire of 
the young man to truly honor his father, which didn't start out that way, but in the process of being together, something awakened in him. And I won't give away the ending, but it was so sweet. If you haven't seen this movie, do yourself a favor and see it because it changes um, from looking after the old guy who's losing his memory to honoring my dad, to being with the dad in an honoring way. So, and I think we can learn so much from those good role models that we find everywhere. We find everywhere. So in this thing called life, in, in, the, in the journal, it suggests that you get quiet to know who the you is that you meditate on who you really are, that you listen to that voice for God and hear it um, wherever you hear it, in the things that inspire you. So that is one of the ways to enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself, it's later than you think. That is looking at the human self and saying, And yes, we're here for joy. We're here for pleasure. We're not here to postpone our good until a greater later. That isn't going to happen. We're here to enjoy our good, to have that pleasure right here, right now. Now, here's another trick question. How many of you know who Anne Mortify is? Anne Mortify. Not one of you. Okay, well... Wow, that's amazing. But you did know who Guy Labardo was. Yes. yes, okay. Well, Anne Mortify, I think, is also a Canadian, and she made a song by Michelle Legrand, famous in the 60s or 70s or sometime during my era, and it's called Born to Live. And I'm going to read you some of the lyrics because the thing about this song is she reminds us, or he reminds us, that life is everything. It's everything. It's not, just, it's not just when we're connected with our spouse. It's also when we're fighting. It's not just when we're on top of the world. It's also when we're suffering. Life is all of it. And not that we have to have more suffering, invite more in. In fact, Ernest Holmes says, don't put your attention there. In the early days, we learned to say, cancel, cancel, sweep it away. So when we're about to say something negative about yourself, Sweep it away. It's not the truth of you. What the truth is, is that you're this great gift of life to life. And this is what Michelle Legrand wrote. We are here. We are born to live, not just survive. Though the world may be long and the river wide, though the seasons change and the willow bends through the Though some dreams break, some others bend. We are born to give and born to take, we were, we, to win and lose and to celebrate. We were born to know and born to muse, to unfold our hearts, take a chance and choose. We are born to love though we feel the thorn. When a ship sets sail to return no more, Though a door has closed, we feel the pain to chance it all and to love again. We're born to reach a weak, to seek what's true, to surrender all, to make each day new. We were born to laugh and born to cry, to rejoice and grieve, just to be alive. We were born to hope and to know despair and to stand alone when there's no one there. We are born to trust and to understand that in every heart there's an outstretched hand. We were born to live, to be right and wrong, to be false and true, to be weak and strong. We were born to live, to break down the walls, and to know that life is to taste it all. Enjoy yourself. It's not later than you think. It's now, today is the day to remember who you are. And so it is.
Thank you so much. Thank you.